Hi everyone, it's Emma, and today I'm doing a stationery haul. As always, stationery haul actually means all manner of things that I love that are not books and not clothing. So I have got some journals, pens, makeup products, skincare products that I purchased recently and I'm so excited about. Honestly, I have already been using a lot of these products and I'm loving so many of them. It is always so exciting to me to get new pens because it means I have new writing utensils. Is utensils the right word for that? So yes, let's just jump right in. I will link everything that I can find down below, or at least give you the brands so that you can have a general idea of where to find all of these goodies. So first of all, I will start with something that I purchase on a regular basis. <laughs> and that is these Innisfree My Real Squeeze sheet masks. I buy these by the bunch. They're like a dollar and 80 cents or something like that. And I love them. I probably use two a week. They recently redid all of them. So they changed the actual shape of the sheet mask and it fits my face so much easier now. So I got a couple of my go-to types and then a couple new ones. I got green tea, lime. I got two lime actually. That's another green tea. I got fig which is one of their new kinds. Broccoli which is another of their new kinds. I've already tried this one and I liked it a lot. Oatmeal, acai berry. I got a bunch of the rose ones because those are my favorite. And then I got cucumber, which is another go-to for me. I literally did one of these last night. It is a staple in my skincare routine. A lot of you guys ask what my skincare routine is like, and I will just say, until I make a whole video about it, that these are very important. I use them all the time, and I think they work magic. The other thing that I got from Innisfree is I got one of their cushion cases. It looks like this. I have two foundations that I like to use from Innisfree. I like the full coverage matte one and then I like the aqua cushion foundation. However, I didn't have a case for both of them, so I was kind of switching out the insert that goes inside when I was traveling as to like which foundation I wanted to bring. It comes like this and then you buy the insert for what kind of foundation you want. Insert it into this little thing. I'm pretty sure I've shown this before, but I just needed a new compact since I had two foundations from them that I love. So I picked up this little purple one with bunnies on it. Next, I got some journals. The first one is this one. It just says, be nice in big felt-ish red letters. It's from the brand Bandeau. My planner is also a Bandeau planner and I love it. I love it so much. So I thought that I would try one of their journals. This one is pretty large ruled spiral bound notebook and so I will probably use it for editing poems, not for journaling in the normal way that I do. I always have a big journal like this that I use for like scrap paper and editing things. So I thought that this one would be perfect for that and I love that it says be nice on the cover. It just fits my aesthetic very nicely. <laughs> Haha, <laughs> nicely. Then I got this little decomposition book, which I bought in Book Culture on Columbus, which is my favorite bookstore in New York City. I also got the, this little postcard from them to hang on my wall. This one is yellow, which is all I needed to know to love it, but it also has cameras on it and flowers and dragonflies, which is like everything that I love. Cameras, flowers, yellow. I also really liked the size. This one will be a good one for actually journaling. It also is a good one to carry around in my tote bag, which I like. You can usually find these in lots of bookstores. They sell them in Whole Foods. Next, there is this store in New York City called Goods for the Study. It is owned by the same people as the McNally Jackson bookstore, and they carry all manner of journals, notepads, goods, that have to do with studying. So I went in there recently and I picked up a journal that is from my favorite brand of journals. It's called Midori and I usually buy them in Kinokuniya but they are popping up everywhere. I think it has become a really popular brand for notebooks. I know that you can also buy them in the McNally Jackson bookstore. I also picked up this cover that goes with the Midori notebooks. So you buy this and then you buy this and then it goes inside and it has this beautiful almost pink kind of tan cover to protect it. I always have one of these in my bag for like random thoughts or ideas or video notes or whatever occurs to me as I'm on the move but they usually get really beat up and dirty so I loved the idea of having this cover to go over the notebook and since you buy them separately I can buy a new one when I finish this journal so I'm excited to try that out. 
Also at Goods for the Study, I picked up these tiny envelopes and note cards. It's that kind of paper, I forget what you call it, but it's almost like thick tissue paper, if that makes sense. Like if you ever made paper when you were a kid, it kind of turned out like this, but they are mini and pink and they come with little envelopes and they were sealed up with a wax stamp. Honestly, I have bought this for the usefulness because I do actually use this stuff whenever I send something to people, but I also bought it because I thought it would be cute for pictures. And I think the brand on this one is ARPA. I think it's ARPA, A-R-P-A. Before I move into all of the pens that I bought, I got a couple makeup items. The first of which is the lipstick that I'm currently wearing right now, although I'm not wearing a lot of it, so I'm not even sure if it's gonna show up on camera. It is an RMS Beauty Wild With Desire lipstick. <laughs> Color that I got is called Pretty Vacant. I have this lipstick in a red, I think it's called RMS Red, and I love that one, especially for when I just wear lipstick like in the center of my mouth and then blot it out, which is usually what I do when I wear lipstick. This one, however, is a bright pink color, which I just thought was perfect for summer. Again, I usually put it right in the center of my mouth and then blot it out in the Korean makeup style. So I've been wearing this a lot since I got it. Then I got a highlighter from the brand Juice Beauty. I don't use a lot of Juice Beauty's makeup, but I do use their sunscreen for my face, like for the sunscreen that I wear every day. It is this brand Juice Beauty. I came across this product. It's a highlighter that is two-sided. So this side comes out of this side, and then there's another color that comes out the other side. They are both very, very pink, which I love because I have very pink toned skin. Yellow highlighter on my skin. I don't always love the way that it looks. However, the pink one shows up like sparkles on my skin. It's so nice because I can put the highlighter and then I can use the blush highlight and it just makes me look all rosy and pink and shiny and sparkly and it's just the best. And lastly for makeup, I picked up this Ico London Rockout and Lash Out Mascara, which is one of the mascaras that I wear every day. I had run out of this one, so I picked up a new one. The last tube of this that I had lasted me so, so long. Like so long that I probably should have thrown it out before I ran out because I think it was like two years. I love this mascara. It's one of my faves. It stays on so well that it is sometimes hard to get off but not in an annoying way, in a perfect way. If I just want to wear mascara, then I will use this one. And I love the way that it looks like that. Yay! It is time for my favorite part of stationery hauls, which is the pens that I got. Recently, I have been doing a lot of writing, and I've mentioned many times that when I write poetry, I always write it out by hand first. The last step of writing is when I type it out on my computer. Usually it's already gone through a couple drafts before I even put it on my computer. And I also am a daily journaler, so I go through a lot of ink. So recently I had run out of almost all of my favorite pens. One of the things that I wanted to do while I was in New York for a weekend, kind of getting ready to move and everything, was go to the pen store that is owned by the same people as the McNally Jackson bookstore and Goods for the Study. It's literally right next door to Goods for the Study and it is just walls of pens. It is beautiful. I love it in there. It is so pleasing to me. <laughs> So I got some pens while I was there and they backed it up in this adorable little bag that says Goods for the Study and McNally Jackson store. Yay! I got this one by Pocketo. which I had one of their fountain pens, I loved it. They have paper in the store, so all of these pens are ones that I just tested out and I liked the way that they wrote. So this one is by Pocketo. Then I got two of these pens. I had a blue one of this and it was one of my faves, so I picked up two more. They write in black ink, but they have this shiny, pretty cover. I've hauled these before, but what I like about these is that they are slightly triangular, so when you hold it, it fits your fingers very well and has a little cap. I got this one, which is by Papermate, which is kind of like a marker pen. These are the type of pens that I use for video planning because I also do that by hand. I liked that it was a marker tip, but it's not the kind that is too thick and will bleed everywhere and be messy, messy. Then I got this pen, which is cute and yellow and is like a, what do you call this, ballpoint pen? I got this one, which is by Pilot, which is another marker tip, but it is very, very fine. And I got this one by Pilot, which is even smaller than this one. This one is the fine liner and this one is the point two. 
And this one is almost like a Sharpie pen if you've ever used those really, really fine tipped Sharpie pens. And lastly, I got a couple pens at Kinokuniya. I got this one, which is by Pentel, and it's just a really fine tip that I liked the way it wrote. And then I got this one, which is a replacement for one of my favorite pens, where you buy the ink cartridge separate, and then you buy the little outside thingy, and then you put them together, and you can replace the ink cartridge. I've hauled this a bunch of times. I got another one so that I can have two, and it's yellow, which is cute. Okay, that is everything that I have to haul for you guys. I did also buy some cards and things that I'm going to send to some friends, but I don't want to show them because I'm going to send them to my friends. I hope that you guys enjoyed this stationery haul. I love making these. If you do want me to continue making these, give this video a thumbs up. Um, that way I can know that you guys enjoy them because you really seem to, but I don't know. I hope that you have a lovely day or night or afternoon, wherever you are, whatever you are doing, and I will see you in my next video.